Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and this is The Groom. Hello. We're doing the midweek movie review with The Groom, and the movie is... Annihilation. <sighs> Annihilation, written and directed by Alex Garland, is a fantasy-mystery hybrid that was released recently in 2018. So, a brief synopsis, um... Our main character is a biologist who is also in the army. Her husband is in the army currently. That's how they met. He's been missing for about 12 months. Randomly shows up, completely disoriented, really not knowing where he is, really who she is, and starts to just randomly hemorrhage. On the way to the emergency room, he is, uh, well, they kind of, what, pull them over and take them somewhere weird like black suv suburbans surround the ambulance make it stop and then just like snatch her husband yeah. out of the back of an ambulance while he's like just like hemorrhaging, hemorrhaging everywhere. having a seizure or whatever terrible and she's like a doctor of biology like she's she has a, a biology doctor she's a biology doctor so she's like yelling all this medical jargon and then they just stick her with the shut up juice and she passes out So ultimately, she does join a group of four other women in in trying to figure out what's in the shimmer, what really happened to her husband, if there's any way she can help him. Because he's in a coma. Yeah. And that's why she goes in, because she's like, maybe I can find something that'll help bring him out of this coma. And they go in and... They have no idea where it is. The shimmer originated from what's going on, but it is growing bigger, centralized around a lighthouse where it started. Which was the goal. The goal was to get to the lighthouse. To get to the lighthouse, yes. And everyone that's gone in really hasn't come out. Somehow her husband came out, but there's a lot of stuff wrong with him, so they kind of want to figure out really what this thing is. and. I guess we could just leave it there as it's spoiler free. Well, I, yeah, and the only other thing is like it's an all female team because every other team they've sent in has been all men. So apparently they're like, hey, let's send in a bunch of women and see if that helps, see if that changes anything. Um, what did you like about the movie? I liked. Um, there's one bear hybrid creature that I really like. The bear wolf hi- uh, hybrid. Uh, there's some weird bear wolf hybrid. I very much enjoyed that. The movie was visually appealing. Oh, yeah. It was very, it was, the the stuff inside the Shimmer was, and you see a little bit of, of it in the trailer, some of the creatures and the colors like that. It's very nice. It's very pretty. It looks very good. They did a great job, like the set crews and the visual effects people did a phenomenal job. The gore wasn't that. bad either. I was pretty the, surprised about that. Yes, the, the... Oh my god, the... Oh. There's one scene that gets pretty graphic. And it's... Oh. It's, that was pretty good. It's pretty cool. The effects were awesome. Yes. Okay, For the, the most uh, part, at the end, the effects were kind of... I, I was not... It was just... That's just the way the movie was. <sighs> like, you're talking about that, that thing at the end? That weird thing at the end? Yes. Oh, I don't know. I thought it looked really hokey. Yeah, end. that last thing at the end with the main character was hokey as shit. Yes. What did you not like? I didn't like that it was um, two hours, and it, there could have been a lot of stuff that they left out, particularly this whole like the subplot awkward. with um, an affair. Didn't need to be there. Like I, I don't care. I was not invested enough in these characters to care. I'm sorry. I didn't care. It could have been way shorter. Like, way shorter. Like, less Natalie Portman. And that goes into my dislike. Natalie Portman. Oh my god. How does she keep getting work? She is such a bad actress. I think that this movie would be extreme, extremely... Extremely. Extremely. I can't even talk. I'm so mad about this. I think this movie would have been significantly better with Kira Knightley. 
Ooh. Okay? That's uh, how that's how bad she did. Uh, because it's somebody that who looks like her, but you could have gotten the same effect. It was just it was so the the acting was poor. You didn't the whole subplot with the affair didn't work because you didn't become invested in the main character because Natalie Portman is terrible. She Okay. Yeah. She was just oh, she was so bad in this movie. And she, the the movie is so focused around her that all you got was two hours of crappy Natalie Portman acting. Her terrible cry face, her just awful emotional range. It was just I don't even know just Natalie Portman is terrible. She has made a No, she's not terrible. It was just not convincing for me in this movie at all. Like Name one good Natalie Portman movie other than Garden State. The Professional? Was she in that? I don't even know. I don't give a shit. <sighs> She's so bad. What would you rate this? Oh, I give it a 1.5. And that is, all of it was because of the vi- the visual effects were so good. Like, that's why I say, like, the 1.5 to 2 range. But because so much of the movie was Natalie Portman, that's what I based the, ra- the rating on. And it was just... The scene in the trailer, okay, when I saw it in the trailer, I knew what I was in for. When Natalie Portman is firing a gun, which is the most unbelievable thing I've seen. Like, I don't believe at at all. Okay. And she was has that weird, like, war cry face. She's like, ah! That was terrible. Uh, and then that, that one, I was like, okay, it's just one scene. And everybody's like... Oh, I love this movie. This is such a great movie. My buddy over at the Far Side is like, "Oh, it's one of the be- best movies of the year." I'm like, "All right, I'll give it a chance." Now I'm like questioning our friendship because Stop. no, you're not. <laughs> I told him I was like, "I don't know." You're if I very can be- dramatic. I was like, I was like, I don't know if I can be friends with you if you love that movie. But we both agreed when I t- when I talked when I talked to him. He just thought it was so visually ap- appealing to him that he got over the bad acting but he agrees with me that it would have been better with like if you if you could have gotten you know just somebody else but so i gave it like i don't know a 2.5 out of 5 just because the acting was not convincing i didn't care about the characters it was really really way too long i don't have a very long attention span and if you don't hook me right away you're not going to like it's just not going to yeah, happen you got to get her on the line Special effects looked bomb. Was very happy with those. I did like the idea of the story. It was very interesting. I did, but I just I couldn't too. get into it. Like there was nothing that was like, oh, pay attention to this. This is happening. No, I just wanted to watch people get like messed up. I don't understand. They could have taken out a lot of this movie that had like the weird background everything like that and show us when the other teams went in and got murdered yeah. i would have loved to see that instead of her screwing her boss you know i it you know i didn't i did i didn't need that no you know and there was a lot of other like weird stuff in there like the weird flashbacky stuff and it was just like it was a lot of stuff was like unnecessary. Unne- like it was filler for a movie that was already like really long. I was gonna say it was like they felt like if you're gonna put filler in a movie, make it like exciting filler, like people getting destroyed by or awesome like necessary, things. like to pad out the movie. Like this yeah. movie was fully padded out. Like <sighs> it didn't need anything else. It just we felt like it good. went. On. It felt like it went on forever. For two hours. <sighs> so bad. All right, so. Where can we find this movie? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> it's available on various streaming platforms as well as fi- a physical copy. We rented it from the Redbox. Which, Hashtag not spawns. Which, you know, I love them. I am going to write a letter to Natalie Portman and ask for my $2 back. Nope. Uh, <laughs> um, interesting thing is it's based off of Jeff Vandermeer. Am I saying that right? If, Vandermeer. I don't know best-selling Southern Reach tri- trilogy. So this is based off a book. I would actually give the book a chance cuz like you said the story was really good. I just, you know, feel like they didn't do it really that good. Yeah, they didn't do it. I don't know. It, I don't I feel like, you know, like the story was there, the visual effects were there, the acting the just acting wasn't, just wasn't there. there. And the other main character across from her is the guy from uh the guy who plays Poe in Star Wars. Yeah. I don't remember his name. Sorry. 
But um, for you, boot, for you, boot that. But yeah, it was just. I mean, I would. I wouldn't suggest this to anybody. I'd be I, like, I would, but um. I tell them upfront. No, I mean everyone's got a different taste, so I would recommend they check it out for you know different elements that I think they would enjoy. I think everyone should give it a shot and formulate their own opinion. I think the visual appeal of this movie is enough to get somebody to be like, rent it on Redbox. I wouldn't tell people to buy it on DVD. No. I wouldn't tell people to commit that money to it. But I would tell them, buy it on Redbox. See if you like it. It's very visually, visually appealing. So some people may be able to block the rest of everything else out of there. But, you know, the story is good. Gore is okay. Gore is good. You know, the visual effects are good. So, I mean, it has enough there to It does have, watch. like, redeeming qualities, but just... Yeah. I don't think I'd ever watch it again. Maybe if you wanted to punish me. You'd make me watch it I don't it want again. to punish myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You're going to make me watch it again. You're going to be like, you're going to sit no. here. You're going to watch this movie. And you're going to like it. I'm like, no, I'm not. So, anyways... If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Have you seen this movie? What were your thoughts? Leave me a comment down below. Like the video if you liked the video, or you could like the video if you didn't like the video. And don't forget to hit the bell for notifications of all my uploads. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter at Reanimator, and they can find you. You can find me on Twitter at Repeat Groom Ray. You can also find me on Twitch at Repeat Ray Animator. Come follow me. I play video games. New Call of Duty beta is coming out in about a week and a half. So if you're into first person shooters, me and my friends and guys from my old gaming clan, we're going to be streaming that a lot. We're going to be streaming a lot of PUBG, some Rocket League, and even suggestions. You know, we're up for it. You know, you want to tweet me something, some cheap game you want me to try, I'm up for everything. Tweet Dance Dance Revolution. Because <laughs> we will... have a lot of that. <laughs> or Just Dance, because we have that too. You know what I should do? I should get a video of you playing Just Dance and put it, and put it on the YouTube page. Once I'm allowed to, I will. It was one of the most amazing things in our marriage was the day I came home. <laughs> and she's just dancing her heart out in the living room. To I'm really good to, at that game. To, to Just Dance. And I was just... I didn't, I didn't even know what to think. I walked in, I was like, you're amazing. I was like, what are you? And then he fell upon his knees and he sobbed <laughs> because he was so <laughs> overwhelmed with how amazing I am at Just Dance. <sighs> but anyways, let's end the video there. <laughs> yeah. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah.